because we found one in just a better location. It's got more room and I can't wait to show it to you guys because yeah, this place is okay. It's just not really something super comfortable and this new place is gonna be a lot more comfortable and I can do a lot more lifestyle type of videos. So I'm super excited about that. So basically what does moving have to do with makeup? Well basically my husband and I decided that when we move into our new place, since we have to pack everything up, again, we don't wanna bring anything with us that is tested on animals and yeah, we just wanna switch over to cruelty-free products, so I'm gonna start checking all of my hair care su like supplies, like shampoo, conditioner, like all that kind of stuff, you know, lotions, all that kind of like beauty products. We are switching over to 100% cruelty-free products just because we have been doing like a lot of research um, yeah, I've been reading up and watching documentaries and stuff like that. So yeah, we made a whole bunch of lifestyle changes recently and I'm not ready to talk about everything yet, but I definitely will talk to you guys about it very soon, maybe in a few weeks. But for now, we're gonna take the first step and we are gonna go through all my makeup that I just showed you guys and we're gonna get rid of anything that is tested on animals. So let's get started. Okay, so the first compartment we are going through is my eyebrow little kit. So it seems like I have e.l.f. and Essence. Those are the only two brands. So I'm going to use the website Logical Harmony to see if e.l.f. and Essence are on the cruelty-free brand list. Let's look it up. Okay, it looks like e.l.f. is on the cruelty-free brand list, so I can keep my e.l.f. eyebrow products. Additionally, it says all of their cosmetics are vegan, which is great because e.l.f. is super affordable and apparently cruelty-free and vegan, so that is amazing. I get to keep these, how great. Next, we are gonna check for Essence, which I have these two brow products from. Okay, I cannot seem to find any information about Essence Cosmetics, but I will keep these for now, and I will do some more research and see what I can find out, you guys. So, moving on. Okay, next is my base little drawer here. So I have my foundations and my concealer and let's go ahead and give that a check here. So we'll check my Estee Lauder, E-S-T-E-E. -E. Okay, definitely it says that Estee Lauder does test on animals and I have to get rid of this, but that's okay. I've gone through two bottles of this and I felt like it's starting to clog up my pores on my chin really bad, so I think it's time to find a new foundation and I think I can find a cruelty-free one. I already know I'm probably gonna go for the Kat Von D Locket foundation. I have used it in the past and I really like it, but this has to go. It is basically empty, so I'm not being super wasteful or anything. It's almost gone and I'm just gonna get rid of that because I don't wanna bring any products that have been tested on animals into our new place. Just, you know, good changes, positive changes. All right, let's check my Hourglass Foundation Stick here. 
Okay, Hourglass Passes. I actually quite like this foundation stick. I received it from Influencer.com or something like that as a sample. And I really like it, but the shade I have is too light, which is unfortunate. Um, actually, it just seems like I'm not going to have any foundation. <laughs> have to run to the store tonight and get some samples and use the samples until I can figure out how I can get some of that Kat Von D foundation because I don't think you guys realize how hard it is to get makeup here in Switzerland. Obviously they have makeup but a lot of like the more like newer brands that we are used to at like Ulta and Sephora like Kat Von D and Too Faced and Benefit like they don't have any of that here. We'll see guys. We'll see. Online shopping is my friend right now. Moving on is my LA Girl Pro Conceal um, High Definition Concealer. Obviously I love this. I have two tubes here. I've already used like two or three. So I really hope that this stuff is cruelty free because I really like it. LA Girl, it passes guys. Cruelty free. Very exciting. So it looks like now I have my new uh, base routine until I find a new foundation. So that's good. And the Real Technique sponge, I know for a fact that Real Techniques is cruelty free and vegan, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, moving on to the next little container. I have in here my mascaras and my eyeliner. So I don't have to look up Kat Von D because I know for a fact that Kat Von D is cruelty free, so that's gonna stay. And all of my uh, mascaras, they're from Maybelline. So, let's check this out, M-A-Y-B-E, okay, that is not coming up, let's check the other website, okay, Maybelline is coming up as testing on animals, and all three mascaras that I have are from Maybelline, so I might be running to the store tonight to go get some new stuff, because I really, you guys, I don't want to keep it anymore, so I might have to use it tomorrow or something like that, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out, don't worry, don't worry. But I'm gonna put those to the side. So that's my eye, my eye little container. Just, just, just one eyeliner. By the way, I have no idea what I'm gonna do when this runs out. I love this eyeliner so much, but they did not sell it over here yet. Okay, moving on to my palettes. First one, BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette. I absolutely love this palette. I wear it all the time. I'm wearing it today. I really like it. Let's check here. BH Cosmetics. Again, we have received multiple responses that are unclear. What do we do about those guys? What do we do? Let's check if it's on PETA's for test. It's not, guys. We don't know. Does it say anything here? Cruelty free. It says it right on the packaging. There you go, guys. Okay, let's check my Naked 3 Urban Decay. Urban Decay. They are cruelty free, but their parent company is not. That's, this is, there's so much gray area, guys, <laughs> trying to like go cruelty free. So, so much gray area. I mean, I'm gonna keep it because I love it. I love this so much and it is super expensive and I just wear it all the time. But I'm definitely gonna do some more research um, and just maybe look into brands that are a little bit more clear.